Hello everyone! In this lesson on tetrachords and thirds, you will be learning how to read and write major and minor thirds. In a previous lesson, you learned that a second is an interval of two notes with consecutive letter names that are right next to each other on the staff. Major and minor seconds are the two most common types of seconds. A third is an interval of two notes that skip a step on the staff. A third may go from one line to the next, or it may go from one space to the next. The cool thing about thirds is that they are the building blocks of chords and arpeggios. Like seconds, the two most common types of thirds are major and minor thirds. A major third is made up of two major seconds. A minor third is made up of a major second plus a minor second. Or it could be a minor plus a major second. It doesn't matter what order they are in. So how can you tell if a third is major or minor just by looking at it? The answer is to think in steps. You may want to use a string diagram to help you visualize these steps. D to E is a major second. E to F is a minor second. And we know that a minor second plus a major second equals a minor third. So D up to F must be a minor third. Let's try an example going down a third from A down to F. First we think in steps. A down to G is a major second. G down to F is a major second. So the interval from A down to F is a major third. It's important to pay attention to the key signature because that can affect the interval. This musical example has a key signature with two sharps and the F sharp in the key signature is going to affect the F on the staff by raising it a half step. Now, A down to G is a major second and G down to F sharp is a minor second. A major second plus a minor second equals a minor third. So we know that A down to F sharp is a minor third. Let's practice with a few exercises. In this example, we're asked to write a major third higher than the given note A. We start by writing the note that's a third higher on the next space above, which is a C. Then we use steps to determine what type of third we have. From A to B is a major second, B to C is a minor second. However, the exercise asks us to write a major third. It's always important to check the key and add an accidental if necessary. In this case, we need to add a sharp to the C to raise it a half step. Now we have two major seconds that make a major third. So the note that is a major third above A is C sharp. Let's do one more. Write the note that's a minor third below the given note. In this case, the given note is D. So the first thing we do is we go down a third from that line to the next line. A third below D is B. Next, we use steps to determine the type of third we have. D down to C is a major second. C down to B flat is also a major second. We know that two major seconds makes a major third. But the exercise is asking us to write the note that's a minor third lower. So we need to use an accidental to raise the B flat to a B natural. Now we have a major second and a minor second, making a minor third. So to answer the question correctly, we must write a B natural, which is a minor third below D. Now read Lesson 17.3 in your workbook and complete the exercises for this lesson. Then complete the exercises in the study guide to review the entire unit. My name is Christopher Selby. Thank you for watching this tutorial on music theory for the successful string musician.